With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Storm Eunice hits the UK on Friday and a rare red warning has been issued. railways too. It's likely both seven bridges will close. This red warning is stretching right across the south of Wales. Ramp up, particularly there for the Bristol Channel. The Met Office has issued a red weather warning for the southwest of England. 20 miles and now there is a, a red warning in place. Concern about loss of life and flying debris. We're being told there is a risk to life here. We only issue red weather warnings when we think there is a threat to life, so please take of a significant danger to life leads to a significant danger to life. Friday is going to be different. Uh, as I say, our advice very strongly is not to travel. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. How are you doing? How are you doing? We are back in the Merc once again, which is probably gonna be our last video in the Merc um, because today is Thursday. Is it Thursday today? Yes, today's Thursday. <laughs> Forget what day it is. Today's Thursday and uh, tomorrow is Friday and this vlog is gonna be recorded tomorrow as well. And then the, uh, the, uh, the Merc then goes back to Mercedes. So this is going to be the last video on the Mercedes. So hopefully you enjoy it. It's going to be an interesting one, this video, I think, because it's very nice weather today. Very nice weather today. But tomorrow is planned to be very unpleasant. Very unpleasant. So we will be vlogging it um, just to see how pleasant, unpleasant it's going to be. Yesterday was pretty bad. It was really windy yesterday. Um, I had curtain poles on the roof of the trailer and apparently tomorrow is going to be even worse than it was yesterday. So it's going to be it's going to be a nasty day, I think. So yes, we'll see we'll see what it's uh, what it holds for us. But nevertheless, today Thursday, we are fully loaded. Currently, we got two deliveries. One uh, just around the corner from where we are now, which is oh, I can't remember where we are. Where are we? Walton on Thames. Uh, and then we've got to do a delivery in Cobham, which is like four miles behind us. It's like just around the corner. So we've got 10 pallets for the first garden centre, which is Squire's garden centre. And then we've got 10 pallets for the second garden centre, which is Squire's garden centre again. 10 pallets each, 20 pallets in total. I can't imagine it's going to take very long at all to get them off. Thank you, mate. You slow down for me. Um, Fingers crossed we get them off quite quickly. Once we've got these two um, garden centres delivered, we're then heading over to Heathrow Airport, where we will be getting loaded with storage boxes and we're taking them up to Aston Down Airfield to be uh, taken off there. Then it's a case of going back to the yard, hitching up to a flatbed trailer, because we're currently on a curtain side of trailer, and loading for Swansea for tomorrow. So, relatively easy day today. Relatively easy day today. The challenge comes tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, garden centre is here. Put the window down so I can concentrate. And in we go. It is funny when um, like people in car parks see a lorry, because they're like, you're not supposed to be down here. <laughs> Keep an eye out for everyone. So yeah, we've got to turn left. Looks like they got cones out ready for us, look, that's good. Go left and then reverse back. Someone just saw us, that's good. They know we're here. They can't bloody miss us in a big lorry. <coughs> and then reverse on back. Not sure if they're gonna tip us from both sides or not. Um, or whether we need to do one side then move over. 
that is yet to be seen. I've never actually delivered to this one before. I'm going to try and position myself in such a way that they can tip us from both sides. This should do here, just go forward a little bit. Oh, someone's coming out now. See what they say. Yeah, today is a glorious day. Sunny, not too cold, it's a little bit chilly. <clears throat> it's only 10 degrees, so it's not like proper warm or anything, but it's a glorious, glorious day. Very much, I think, the calm before the storm. I feel a bit of wind coming in now, look. 12, 12 miles an hour right now. But yeah, today is well and truly, I believe, the calm before the storm. <laughs> I do love bringing trucks through high streets. <laughs> just like, everyone just looks at you. I like the attention, okay? You do have to have your wits about you though, just make sure no one's crossing the road. Hello. <laughs> the bloke was having a good old look at me. So I thought I'd wave. <laughs> okay, turning left in 200 yards. We shall start indicating now. I get the feeling he's going to wave me past. Nah, we're going to stop here a second. We need to be on the other side of the road to actually uh, make this left turn. Come on, keep coming. They're on the left. Big old delivery sign saying go right. So that is where we will go. Lovely jubbly. Uh, delivery drivers, please wait here until until goods until the goods in area is clear. Well, he did tell me to come straight round. on the phone, so we will go straight round. Lovely. I take it we spin round in here as well, by the looks of it. Looks like we drive up there, reverse back down there. Now we need to try and position ourselves in such a way that he can get to the front of the trailer on both sides. He or she. I think. About there. Let's go and have a look, see what that's like. Right, let's go find someone. Okay, forklifter is now offloading us. I think the other side is done. It's just this one he's doing now. Lovely jubbly. So yeah, we'll do this side up. And, uh, oh, look at that. There just so happens to be a plane up there. And that plane is most likely going to London Heathrow, which is sort of, somewhere in that direction over there. And I think that's where he's gonna land. Ah, look at that, look. That plane looks like it's just taken off from London Heathrow, which is where we are going to from here. Lovely jubbly. Well, let's get this curtain done up. Okie dokie, we are just over two miles away. We're on the back straight, so to speak. I think this is the back of the airport. Maybe it's the front, don't really know. <laughs> uh, I know one plane just uh, <laughs> went over, it was really low. Okay, we want to make a right-hand turn here. Don't change, don't change, don't change, don't change, don't change, don't change. Why is this car going so slow for? Come on, mate. Can't slow down in the middle of a junction. Okay, 
Okay. Okay, so the airport is to the right hand side of us. And uh, we need to go half a mile up the road just on the left hand side. Do I need to. Where do I park then? Do I need to book in somewhere? Let that van out. Be here a while, I think. How's it going, mate? Well, Company name? Harry and Sons Haulage. It's not here. Pardon? It's not here. What's not here? The company. No. I'm here to pick up some storage boxes. Some storage? Yeah, storage boxes. Name, name storage. Uh, wow, let's start from this one. Because every second should be in this building. I need to get Fernandez times three and Freya times three. I've got references BW126, BW149. Address. Full address. Pardon? Full address. This place. I don't know. <laughs> Circle Express, Unit 1. Start from this one. Okay. okay. Am I in the right place right. then, yeah? Yeah. Lovely. Oh, good. Park here. Booking. Over there. Over there. Yeah. Parking over there, yeah? Will do. Okay. <laughs> okay, just to keep you updated. So, managed to find someone eventually who knew who I was and what I was picking up. They've told me just to park across the bays, which is what I'm doing now. Uh, originally, they asked me to park sort of down there somewhere. Yeah, now we're here. He said they'll come out in a minute with the uh, with the storage boxes. It's a bit busy in here. Yeah, there are a, uh, a few trucks here waiting to be tipped and uh, offloaded. So hopefully it won't be too long. We'll have to see. Fun and games. Fun and games. Where are you going to go? There's really not a lot of room. You can't get the lorry to run around here. I struggled when it was clear, you had to reverse back into one to get out. Alright, we're getting there. We've got four on at the moment. Four more to go. Okay, we're now loaded, so we're going to jump in the truck now and uh, crack on to Aston Down Airfield. I'll see you when we're there. I'm not going to bother filming out of it. See you when we're there. Okay, so here we are. We are now at the airfield. Got to be careful I don't get the forklifts on camera because he has said in the past don't get them on camera so lovely jubbly got eight boxes to come off and then we're going to nip back to the yard get loaded we've got to swap trailers onto a flatbed as well I'm just going to point out of the way so uh, <laughs> don't want to get the forklift in yeah we've got to go back to the yard um swap trailers for a flatbed get loaded net it up strap it up and uh go from there uh Part of me is thinking I might head to Swansea tonight and do a night out rather than uh, rather than go in the morning because then I'm going to beat the worst of the weather and then it'd just be bad tomorrow on the way back hopefully rather than on the way there and back. So yeah, lower the risk and whatnot. Okay, we're getting loaded now. I'm just standing on the trailer at the moment. Uh, we've got 50 bolt bags going on. Just standing here at the moment, ready with the net, because obviously it all needs to be netted. And uh, the double double bolt bags are now being started. So I'll show you all the, the whole load in a minute once we're actually uh, loaded. But for now, let's just crack on with it. Just thought I'd show you what it looks like from this angle. Just standing on the trailer. Slowly getting there. 
Okay, so we are now loaded. I can't be long because they are, they finished work here at six o'clock and uh, they're waiting to lock the gates. But we are loaded and we are strapped up. We've got 50 bags, mostly bark, so it's incredibly light. Uh, the net itself will hold the load. But also we've got straps on every other one, just to be safe, it's more than enough. So that's that side. I'll just show you the other side quickly as well. There we go. So this is the load that we are taking into the eye of the storm <laughs> tomorrow at Swansea. But we are gonna head there now and uh, park up somewhere for the night. And then, uh, yeah, deliver it in the morning. Right. <laughs> Gotta get going, because they are literally waiting to uh, close the gate. So I'm just gonna park out here a second and uh, plan the route, I don't know where to park. Right, you there, mate. So we're just going to park here a second. You will arrive at your destination at 2033. Right, so two hour, 35 minute drive. And I have been there before, this place we're going to. Who Davis. So uh, yeah, lovely jubbly. Right, next time you see me, we will be in Swansea and it will be, well, it says half past eight is the ETA. Could be quarter to nine, maybe nine o'clock, but I'll see you there. Okay, so we are on the M4. We're still a good hour and 20 minutes away from where we're gonna be parking up tonight, which by the way is only about, well, it's less than 10 minutes away from where we're delivering in the morning. However, it's a good job we are leaving tonight and making our way there now because it's been on the news that the M48 bridge is already shut and the M4 bridge, which is this one, it's the newer bridge, the Seven Bridge, Prince of Wales Bridge, whatever you call it, um, apparently is going to be shut tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the very bridge that we are on right now, it was a good job we're leaving tonight because we can go on the bridge now. Apparently tomorrow, it's shut, so we won't be able to get on it tomorrow. Um, which could be a bit of a problem, actually, if it is shut tomorrow, because our reload from Swansea is Avonmouth, which is just the other side of this bridge. And if they shut this bridge, that is a proper, proper long diversion to get to Avonmouth. Um, we'll have to see what happens if they do close the bridge, whether we'd still have to go get loaded or not, I don't know, we'll have to see. Uh, all I know is that the reload planned was an Avonmouth reload. But yeah, I mean, we're on the bridge now. It is a little bit windy. Definitely would be feeling getting a curtain cider, I'd say. We're not feeling it too much at the moment. We're only doing 50 mile an hour. Take it nice and steady. Um, oh yeah, it is that. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely a bit windy. <laughs> um, yeah, it's definitely moving me around a little bit. Oh, it's going to be windy tomorrow. It's going to be very windy tomorrow. This is the worst place to be where we are right now. In just 12 hours time, this is going to be the worst place to be. Right in between England and Wales on the bridge. Okie dokie. We are just around the corner from where we're going to be parking up tonight. We're on a nine hour drive now, so we are going to just sneak into a 10 hour drive. Which is a little bit annoying. Well, it's not actually that annoying to be fair. Because today's Thursday and I've not used a 10 hour drive all week, so I've still got one for tomorrow if need be. Can't see me needing it if I'm honest. But yeah, so we we, we, we will be on a 10 hour drive today because we're just, just going to sneak into it for just a few minutes. Right, let's go around this roundabout. Lovely jubbly. So tonight we shall be parking somewhere around here, not here because it says no stopping, <laughs> uh, but tonight's parking space comes courtesy from Scott Andrews, who has recommended this parking space and has told me that he's parked here before in the past himself. Apparently there are some single yellow lines, but there are some gaps as well, apparently. We will have a look. Turn right. He said, Daff is very noisy, he said. So we won't be stopping here. <laughs> Let's turn right. And I think he said somewhere on here on the right, I think. 
yeah, there's no yellow lines over here. So we shall stop over here somewhere. Lovely. We're straight. We're just going to go back a bit so we're not blocking this entrance off too much. Lovely. This is tonight's parking space. We leave enough room for trucks to get round. Handbrake on. Steering wheel up. Keep that off. Lovely jubbly. Let's put on some mood lighting. Let's put some orange lights on. Yeah, baby. So, yeah. We're done. <coughs> Turn the engine off. So yeah, the good thing about being on a flatbed is that we don't need to open up the back doors because people can see what we got on. It is starting to rain. I'm not sure if you can hear that. So to be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to step out the truck. Yeah, we will. We will step out the truck. I'm going to do an end of day check. Right, let's bring you with me. Let's go for a little walk. Okay, so good news is because I got this. Basically, let me let me show you. Basically, I got this like little LED torch thing which sits on the top of my GoPro, and it basically helps illuminate my face. Be that a good or bad thing? With different brightness settings, so even out in the dark, I can vlog perfectly. Ah, I must remember to turn that daft logo. I, must remember to turn the Mercedes leg off. So there she is. Truck's parked up and uh, we're ready to do our end of day checks. So I've got my torch just to make things a bit brighter. I always go around and just double check, make sure everything is safe. Bags are still on, all strapped up, not moved an inch. Before I drive off tomorrow, I will Double check all the straps are done up tight. But for now they look good. So yeah, it's all gravy baby. All gravy baby. Okay, so. We're now gonna basically go to sleep. We're gonna have nine hours off. The time now is 20 to nine. So we're gonna start again at, uh, well, we can start again at 20 to six. But we'll probably start at six o'clock, maybe maybe quarter past six, and then head to the first drop, get there hopefully for like half six, quarter to seven, get tipped. And uh, yeah, it's supposed to be really bad tomorrow. You can see it's raining now. I think tomorrow I'm gonna be wearing my raincoat, maybe my waterproof trousers as well, because I'm just wearing jeans at the moment. But we will see. I will see you in the morning. Uh, or if it gets really bad tonight, I might turn the cameras on tonight and show you what it's like. But for now, I'll see you in the morning. Hopefully, it's not going to be too bad. Just want to give a quick shout out to the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. It is a book absolutely rammed with information regarding anything HGV related. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. Okay, so we are in the yard now. We've been let in, and uh, basically now I've got to start unstrapping it all. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get that done. It's not too windy. It is a little bit windy. It's not too bad just yet, but I think it's gonna get worse. Currently 36 mile an hour winds. I'm gonna get this net off before it gets really, really bad. So I'm gonna get it And if you didn't hear anything, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, straps are now off, we just need to take the net off. Uh, according to my watch, it is now 36 miles an hour winds, which is two more than what it was 10 minutes ago. Anyway, let's take the net off. Okay, net off, straps off, good to go. Uh, 10 by 7, 36 miles an hour winds. Okay, we've got our trusted stick to help with the bags. We've got some taken off already, look. Just had two foot lifters on us, but <laughs> as I do that, the wind's blowing it. Currently 38. No, stop, stop talking. 
currently 38 miles an hour, southwesterly wind. It's getting faster. Yeah. Still don't know what I'm doing from here yet. Um, I'll wait until I'm pretty much tipped and then I'll find out. We are now at 40 mile an hour winds. 40 mile an hour winds. Since uh, since we've been here, it's been picking up. It's not like constant. It's it's like gusts every now and then. Like yeah, there's nothing major right now. But you can see you can see the clouds look behind me. I like how fast they're moving. It's it's quite windy. Okay. Two more bags to go and then we are done and we can get a move on. Okay, this is the point of no return. If the bridge was shut, let's get on over. If the bridge was shut, we'd have to come off here and go to uh, Chepstow. But it's open. We are about to cross the Severn Bridge in 48 miles per hour winds. Look at that wind thing go. That is going. <laughs> 48 mile an hour winds. Woo! This is going to get bumpy. Yeah. <laughs> I really wouldn't want to be on a curtain cider today. <laughs> Look at the trees over there. They're like sideways nearly. I guess you could come off here if you needed to. According to the sat nav, there's... Uh, a way out. Okay then here we go. Look at that orange thing over there. That is vertical. 49 mile an hour winds. Speed limit is 50 but we are going to slow down a little bit. <laughs> the wind is choppy. Nine mile an hour winds. Jesus. I'm looking at the sea and it's just like all over the place. It's supposed to get worse, you know. I think we're, we're passing at the right time. I know I said yesterday, 12 hours from now is the worst time to be here, but it's actually not that bad at the moment. Whoa. <laughs> I got stabilisation on these GoPros, so I don't think it really shows just how much we're moving, but we are moving. do these like little corrections on the steering wheel just to try and keep me straight whoa it is the waves are massive well not massive but <laughs> bigger than what they normally are Midway point. Midway point. It's still 49 mile an hour winds. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. I'm not surprised cars are giving me a, a, a wide berth. I'm not surprised. I wouldn't want to be in this on a Curtisider. I really wouldn't. I, I do feel sorry for those out on Curtisiders today. There's some sketchy moments happening. Double decker, oh! Double decker B&Q going over the Wales Bridge. I've done that. I've done that before with B&Q trailers. Not in this windy condition though. 
Right, anyway, so yeah, we've got to go get loaded at Avermouth. It's going to be windy. It's always windy at Avermouth. Always. Even when there isn't a storm. So throwing straps over is going to be a bit of a nightmare, I think. You're going to throw a strap over and uh, it's going to be halfway down the trailer on the other side. <laughs> so it could be a case of throwing one over at a time, I think. I was just going to get all tangled up. One at a time, do it up, go on from there. Can you hear that? That's the wind vibrating on the truck. Yeah. That's the wind vibrating on the truck. Can you hear that? Oh ho. around here man it is windy let me just uh it's, it's windy out <laughs> okay it's windy it's definitely windy out now whoa <laughs> so i just wanted to show you what we got on it's very windy outside we're gonna have, I think it's 24 pallets, so we should have 12 either side. Three, six, nine, ten. So we've got two more left to go on this side. throwing these straps over because what we normally do is we throw them all over in one go the wind is just going to take them all down there so we're going to get up I don't know if you can even hear me right now we're going to throw one strap over at a time even if it takes longer it's too windy so this is the problem we have I've got a strap thrown over the wind is just burning to the cab. That's the problem we got. I can't strap up. It's too windy. Well, there goes my bloody hard hat. Just bloody flew off my bloody head. Just blew off my head and come all the way down here. <clears throat> okay. We're not actually strapped up yet. They, <laughs> they could see that I was struggling and so have asked me if I want to... Uh, leave here unstrapped we're still on private road we're not on a public road and uh apparently there's somewhere down here where there's like a canopy and it might protect me from the wind a bit more so um yeah the problem i've got is i'm throwing straps over and the wind's just taking it you just, you just can't strap up <coughs> so we're leaving unstrapped at the moment we're taking it nice and steady I will put my seatbelt on there. Apparently there's a terminal, a canopy nearby, which uh, he reckons I can get under and uh, be easier to strap. To be fair, as long as I'm out of the wind, if the wind's blowing the way I'm throwing the straps over, it won't be an issue. It's the crosswind is the issue, which is what I was having there. You throw a strap over, it just takes it half a mile down the road. <laughs> It's the only place I can think of going. And then I can just try and manipulate myself. I see how good the wind is, or how bad the wind is, in the direction of which I'm facing. 
and then um, if I need to move to get a better angle then I will. I'm just trying to think what position we were in. I've lost my bearings a bit. Where's the wind blowing? Okay, looking at the water, the wind's blowing this way at an angle. So I need to, yeah. I need to get at an angle to the wind like this. And when I throw the straps over, it should go with the wind, hopefully. Yeah. Give it a go anyway. Right, let's have a go. Bloody hell. This road sign here just come flying towards me. goes again just trying to get out of the way flying debris alert wind blowing it in this direction so I just want to get it by the fence ow honestly it just got flying from all the way over there I thought it was going to hit me Okay, update on the strapping up. We've got most of them done. We've just got to do the back four, which shouldn't be too bad because they're the lowest. The higher you throw a strap, the more likely it's going to like blow somewhere else. Anyway, my leg hurts because that sign hit my leg. It was over there. It's now over here. <laughs> um, yeah, when I moved it, the wind blew it into my leg. So I think I've cut my leg open. Currently been doing this for about half an hour. Have I done that one up? Yeah. So this is why you always check the load. So that's not done correctly. I've thrown it over and I've done it up on the other side. But uh, obviously the wind's moved it <laughs> whilst I'm doing it up. Or just before I've done it up. So now I need to undo that again and sort that one out. <laughs> oh, hello, side. You've moved again. Just doing it up over there. It's moved again. Okay, so I just waited to throw this last strap over, but as you can see, it's quite windy. And it's decided to rain as well, so it's actually quite hard on your face. Oh dear. I'm going to break my phone. <laughs> um, yeah, I think It's just so windy. I've only got to do one more now, but every time I throw a strap over, it just doesn't go over. Just wait for it to die down a sec. Right, we're done. Finally done. Not gonna lie, I am bloody freezing. I'm just checking the load now before I go, just to make sure I'm definitely happy with it being strapped up. Yeah, it's good. Oh my god. I'm freezing. I'm going to jump in that truck. Oh. Oh. That's cold out there. Okay, let's get out of here. I called the customer up um, before we were even fully loaded. And uh, I said, yeah, she'll be there about one o'clock if that's all right. Yeah, yeah, and you know where is. ETA is uh, 10 to one. <laughs> so, not bad. Good timing. You just get a, you eventually get a knack for like how things how long things are going to take to do, even in rubbish conditions. Right. Ugh. Let's get out of here. Oh, it's so windy. I take it we can get out this way. Yeah. We are strapped up. We are ready to go. We're going to get warm. Uh, people honking their horns. Yeah, I'm going to turn the heating on and uh, warm up. 
I wonder if this person saw me strapping up. Right, we're about 10 minutes away from our delivery point, but I thought um, I'll just come on now quickly. We have seen some trees in the road and there's been trees, branches protruding into our road as well and like actual trees on the ground. Nothing massive, just branches, but yeah, there is stuff on the floor. So we are scanning ahead and uh, making sure everything's okay. I've had to flash a couple of drivers now just to let them know there's another tree on the path there. Just to let them know that there is something in the road, another tree falling down there. <laughs> yeah, we've got to be careful. There's um, fences are broke there. Look, my fence broke as well. My fence has collapsed at home. So yeah, we're just reading the road ahead, just make sure everything's all okay. Rather interestingly, I phoned this company up earlier and said I'd be there for about half past one. Um, did I say half past one or did I say half, ten? I think I might have said two o'clock, half past one, two o'clock. Anyway, they said, yeah, yeah, no worries. I just tried phoning them back up because I'm only 10 minutes away, less than now. Um, and there's no answer and it goes to voicemail and says they're closed. <laughs> I think they've closed. This is not good. Oh look, his banner's come down. The roads, are, the roads are quiet, I'll give it that. It's really nice and quiet, the roads. Apart from behind me, I've got a few cars behind me. Tree on the road there, on the, on the ground. <laughs> like we're literally in the countryside with forest grown either side forest grown forests either side of us pretty much there's gonna be some trees in the road isn't there well we've got a big tree in the road here look on the left it's obviously come on the floor at some point and someone's moved out of the way we might need to uh jump out at some point and move something out of the way you never know yet Whoa, that was a bit of a wind there. Let's check the loads, okay? Oh, look at that tree down there, look. Oh, that's a big one. Ha. Massive tree falling down there. Okay, turn left. Which left is it? There we go. This is the left we want. Gates are open, that's good. Not that there is any gates. <laughs> right, the question is, where do we get tipped? Customer parking, goods inwards left. Oh, there we go. I'm going to reverse back. Not a lot of room to spin around down there, so I'm going to reverse on in. Sun's come out again. I think that'll do. Lovely. Hazards off, engine off. Cool, we're here. Excellent. Right, let's go see someone. Okay, straps are off. And we are currently being offloaded. Here you go. He's taking it off us now. Lovely jubbly. There he is. So today is Friday, it's the last day we're in this Mercedes truck, which means I need to get all my stuff together, pack up my bed in, and put it all down there ready to go in the passenger footwell so I can grab it easily when I get back to the yard. So while he's doing that, I'm uh, gonna sort all my bedding out. Right, everything's packed away now, or kind of. Everything's over there, little passenger seat. Um, so I can just grab it all when I need to. Rubbish bin. Um, and then just bits and bobs on my bag. I'm obviously on my GoPros and sat nav and all that needs to go in there. Look at my top, look. Minging. Minging. Um, so yeah, just waiting for him now to tip that side. And then it's a two and a half hour drive back to the yard. I need to get some fuel on the way back as well. Then I need to drop this trailer. It's, wind, it's picking up again, wind's blowing. Then I need to drop this trailer and um, yeah, take all my stuff out 
and put it in my bath, I'm assuming. Or I might just put it in my car and then when I come back to work Monday, I can just put it in wherever truck I'm in. <laughs> so yeah, we're just waiting for that side to be done now and then we'll be off. Okay, so we are now on our way out of that place where we just got uh, tipped. And we are now heading back towards the yard. We will be stopping somewhere to get some fuel. Probably, probably memory services. Uh, it's a shell garage. So we can fill up with some fuel there. We've got trees hanging out on the road here. I did notice on the way in, it's mostly this side that we're on now where a lot of the trees are hanging out. So we uh, just need to be careful. <laughs> Give me loads of rain. You don't need to stop there, but thank you. Right, we've got to be careful because all the lights are out. I don't know why, but all the traffic lights are not working. Left me on the right hand side, so we're just going to poke our nose out. Clear on the left. They've got traffic lights down there now. I think traffic just needs to be careful. If you're joining onto someone else's road, you need to stop and let them through. Uh, and if you're on a roundabout, give way to the right. Simple as that. You just need to give way to people already on the road that you're about to join. Alright, we've got a tree on the road. There. Although it wasn't that big. Okay, we've got another tree in the road here. Look. Fence down. A tree just dropped there, right in front of us. Look, that's the tree look, on the left. That's a big old tree in the road there. That is a big old tree blocking the road. Well, you can get around that way. You just gotta take it steady. Don't go fast. Scan very far ahead. Just, just looking around all the time. As you do on, on any other day. It's like when the, the lady walked out in front of me. Ah, oh, we've got another tree down. Ah, oh, we've got a tree down. Big tree down. <coughs> Can we get past it? I don't think we can get past it, can we? We can't get past it. I'll break on. So, <laughs> some people are just idiots, because like, <clears throat> I stopped, because you couldn't get through. I, I physically couldn't get through. And then you got vehicles coming up behind. I got my hazards on to warn them that they couldn't get through. And then they just go and overtake you anyway and jump in front. Bunch of bell ends. Right. Look at all these trees down. Look. The, whoever those blokes were, fair play to them. Fair play. I think they've probably just gone up and down this road moving trees out of the way. Awesome. Like, if they weren't there, I probably wouldn't have been able to pass that. I'd have to... I've tried to move it myself. Anyway, we're done. We're done for the day. There's nothing else to do other than go back to the yard. And, well, fill up a fuel, then go back to the yard. Um, so, yeah, we're done. Um... So thanks for watching. Um, it's been an entertaining day, to say the least. It's been an entertaining couple of days, actually. Um, we knew it was going to be bad weather. It was predicted, it was anticipated, and it did happen. Um, but we survived. It was nothing major. It's not catastrophic. There has been deaths, unfortunately. There has been accidents. There have been lorries tipped over on their sides. It, it has been dangerous in some areas, including areas, by the way, that I've been. Two lorries, two lorries have fallen over and they're on their sides between Port Talbot and Swansea, which is where we were uh, a little while ago. It happened about two or so hours after we left. Um, I believe they were both curtain siders, but it was exactly where I was uh, just two hours after I left. It's, it's been a case of where you are, I think. But I have been in dangerous places today, but it's not been 
too bad, if I'm honest. You've just got to be careful, keep your wits about you. So, unfortunately, people have lost their lives today, um, which is obviously is very sad. You know, sorry to their families and whatnot. Uh, and some drivers, are you going to indicate? Yeah, you're going to indicate. And some drivers have been injured, um, I'm sure. Hopefully, if any of you are watching this who have been a driver and you've been injured, hopefully you get well soon. Recovered quite quickly. <laughs> they just put their hazards on. Um, but yeah, for now, we're okay. I'm okay. And uh, I get to go home to my family today, so I'm um, extremely grateful for that. And, you know, some people won't be. So it is, like I said, it's, it's, it's a case of where you are. We haven't, ourselves, haven't had anything too bad. I think the worst of it was on the Severn Bridge this morning when it was 50 miles an hour. Um, but we've got a flatbed on. Look at that fence. But we've got a flatbed on, so it hasn't been that bad. But I do feel incredibly sorry for anyone with a curtain cider today. So yeah, this is uh, the end of this video. Unless anything interesting happens throughout the day, which I'm hoping it isn't, I'm hoping it's gonna be quite a simple finish and we're gonna get back to the yard. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully, um, you know, as many people as possible get sent to their families today and enjoy uh, a very good weekend together. So thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, until next time, please drive safe and stay safe. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.